Hi, today I am painting an oil paint. My art teacher, uh, she taught me how to do a lot of art and she's really a great art teacher so I decided to paint her dog. Her dog's a chihuahua and its name is Muha, which translates to fly. The dog is really adorable. It's I love it so much, and I just wanted to draw it today, so I'll paint it. I started with the background of the painting, because then it'll be easier in the end to paint the dog. So I suggest whenever painting, always paint the background first, so then you don't have to struggle so much in the end. Um, and I'm painting these uh, curtains that are like gold with black spots and a background of this um, background of this like yellowish brownish color and I shaded it with some brown to define its details. There are some, um, in the curtains, there are some little riffles, and I use the black to show where it's folded. Then I add some of the gold. And get that. Then I start with a brown at the bottom. I want to kind of make a dark area at the bottom for both of the sides and I blend that in. I suggest when working with oil paint, always be prepared, have something under your painting to not make your table dirty because it's going to take a very long time to wash off and it might not even come off and i suggest wearing gloves and this uh here i forgot to put gloves so later on my hands were very messy and i so don't suggest it so please wear gloves it's gonna, you're gonna be all clean in the end, and you can use oil to save the gloves to reuse them. Don't ever trash your gloves if they're dirty. You can always wash them with oil. Oil makes the oil paint come easier come off, and then you just wipe after you uh, put oil on your hands with the gloves. Then you rub it in and then use a paper towel to wipe it off. It's great to taking off paint and it's good to have oil. I start with the dog and I start with the dark shades of the dog. Since the chihuahua is black and white, I go in with the black and I all Paint all the black parts of the dog. On the other side, it's quite lighter, so I kind of leave little spaces to leave it, like put a dark, a light gray or dark gray there. And then the nose. And just do it with black and then later on I'll add a uh, gray to the nose so then you can see the sides of the nose and the nostrils 
At that time, I didn't have much white, but I just bought white and got some, so we're good. I painted all the parts that were gray, that turned out to be gray when they were supposed to be white, because I didn't have white paint and it like, kept mixing in. So then I added all the light parts with my white, and painted the bottom to be more white. Then I, use, I get, make a, I use black and I shade in the, light, the other side of the curtain and I use, I mixed in a light gray and I use it to define the eyes and make, define the ears. Later on, I don't really start liking the eyes so I redo them, I add some here black to them to make them more huge and wide like a chihuahua. As you can see, I added white to the nose to get a little detail on it. And the white, I made the face in the Not much good for me. 